Hey guys, Drew at Freedom Boat Club of West Michigan here, introducing the newest members of our fleet. The Zodiac Enzo 680 is now coming to you guys with three of them, one at each of our locations, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. We want to give you a little orientation. You don't need extra training. They drive the same, but this has some other features on it that we want you to be aware of. Number one, this is a barefoot boat or boat shoes only. Obviously, because we have big tubes that surround this boat, each tube has three chambers to it. You should never have to inflate them, but I'll get to that in a minute. On the back of the boat here, you've got your swim ladder, a very aggressive tow bar, uh, a water fill tank for a sink. Yes, it has a sink on it, believe it or not. Uh, we probably uh, won't be doing much with those, but wanted you to know that the gas tank is actually up here next to the helm. So usually you don't have to put any gas in the boats, but that's something that's very important about this boat. As far as the features of this boat, we don't have the canopy up right now, but we're going to ask it always be left up because it just gets really wobbly underway. It's meant to be fastened at all times. Underneath this back seat, we will have uh, where your battery and your battery switch is. There's plenty of room for storage. All of these seat cushions either snap on or tongue and groove on. Um, you should never have to mess with them, but just wanted you to be aware. We've got a nice little table back here, and this is where it gets really fun. We have stole one of these off of uh, the pontoon boats that we're going to add on, but there's a nice cup holder at the helm station. But if you lift this up, you've got an actual wet bar, okay? And then in here, you will find the manual foot pump. If you ever needed to put some air in the chambers, you should never have to. But we want to leave this on board. Your chart kit, and of course you guys all know the orange safety box. Now we've started putting registrations inside the waterproof flare bag, so you know. They are on board, but just uh, keep, in, uh, keep in mindful eye that they are there, but just tucked in a different bag now. I'm going to put this back. Moving forward, like I had said, Here's your gas fill tank right here. Very simple boat. One thing we got, we were in a uh, rush to get these for you. There are no stereos on these boats. You gotta bring your Bluetooth speaker, sorry about that, but uh, you know, better to be floating and, and provide your own tunes at this point. We may look to add them in the winter. A very simple mercury gauge. We ask that this gauge never be touched. It will spit out the favorites. Um, uh, that we have set as far as your RPMs and your fuel and your uh, and your distance uh, But very simple Zodiac makes boats. You don't have all the bells and whistles. There's no depth finder on this There's no real where to hang it off the back um, And then moving forward we have a nice another big storage area here By lifting this up and that's where you'll find all your life jackets on board We've stowed the dock paddle pole right here next to the helm station, so it's very easy and very accessible to get at. And then up front, we have this beautiful sunbed. We're really kind of setting this up for a left side tie, so when you get on the boat, if the first person sits down, spins into the boat, not out of the boat, hand all your gear in, do that wrist to wrist, try to have them step here and not on the tuned and stepping on the back. And as far as the fenders go, we have permanently mounted this. So when you're underway, all you gotta do is just flip it in and it's good to go. The one back there, you just cleat it off like a regular cleat hitch uh, with your fender, but it just makes it really easy. Try to make it as easy as possible for you. Obviously we couldn't mount uh, fender mounts on this boat. Hello, because we're again, we're dealing with tubes. Now guys, one of the things that's a little unique about this, because it obviously has inflatable chambers, you want to be extra careful and cautious if you ever are using your anchor. So up here in the anchor box, which I'll remove this cushion and lift up my anchor box. Okay, you have an anchor davit here. We're not mounting anchors on the front, quite frankly, because that exact size that fits on there, they're sold out right now and they're looking for a workaround. So we put some very user-friendly anchors on board. And again, I'm gonna simulate this going over. You watch your chain and rope to go over that, okay? And as you guys know, when you set an anchor, you wanna lower an anchor of this style with the chain to the bottom. Lowering it down, 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 down until it gets taut and then start backing away from your vessel. This chain is not for weight. 
to take the whole thing down. You never want to throw an anchor over, okay? Because if it gets tangled up, it's useless. When you're backing away, the whole design is the chain lays flat on the bottom of the lake. I'll just lay that down for a sec. And then your pull, which makes the teeth go into the ground. So a little trick on how to set an anchor. And then also when you're pulling the anchor back up, we want you to be pulling it up through this channel and dipping it and being very careful not to catch the boat. Hey, we really hope you guys enjoy this new addition to the fleet. Again, Huey, Louie, and Dewey, but uh, like we always say, we'll see you on the water.